Good afternoon, guys. Actually, it's more like evening. <clears throat> it's almost 5 p.m. in Tucson, Arizona. Uh, so this afternoon, I'm going to show you guys how to. Okay, I'm going to show you guys how to uh, swap up the birds on D, uh, not the DF, Niche Duo. Okay, Duo 83 millimeter. So, uh, by the way, is how many? Uh, let me know in the comment section. I, I love to hear from you. How many people actually all or pre-ordered the Duo? Yeah, let me know. All right, because, uh, yeah, let me know. I mean, love to hear how many people are actually getting this. And so, again, so this morning I made a copy with the Bluebirds earlier uh, morning session. So now let's swap out to espresso. And I got some coffee here from uh, September coffee. And then uh, 18 gram dose. Let's pull the shot, okay. It's gonna be one and done, guys. It's gonna be one and done, so hopefully Hopefully, I'm gonna get it right at first time, but hey, see what happens. So meantime, uh, by the way, uh, if you're planning on buying Duo, make sure uh, the food grade, okay? It's called food grade uh, petrol gel, all right? The lubricant, you need this, all right? You must need this um, because whenever you kind of like on and off, so you know what, let's, uh, let's get going here. Let me show you, show you guys how to do it. Hold on, let me flip the camera back here. So right now we have a uh, espresso birds inside. Just simply counterclockwise, remove the top. Obviously it comes with the tool. Just remove it. Just like so. Okay. So the reason why I want you to get the petrol gel, uh, every few times, eh, at least once a week. If you are planning on swapping up birds every single day, at least a couple times a week, uh, just make sure loop can't throw these screws right there, the screws. All right, just make sure, clean it, apply the new petrol gel, okay? Uh, you should definitely do it, all right? I know some reason they didn't tell you on the website, but on the instruction, but I highly recommend it. All right, again, I got espresso, just take it out, one hand, pretty simple. From here, comes with a screw drive, okay, just release it. Just one screw come out, and that's it, that's the only thing holding it, right? Take it right out, okay. And at this point, make sure do not lose that springs inside. They got one, two, and three. I you know sometimes we try to clean inside and then to lose that uh, spring there. So make sure do not lose it. There, get the. This is a espresso. Start from the bottom. Make sure before you put it in, make sure everything is you know, just clean it. Okay, just make sure clean the birds there. So I'm just that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, sometimes we are in a hurry to not to clean it, but yeah, since we is out, just clean the side. Okay, that's a clean inside if you wanted to. Okay. Just clean it a little bit. All right, let's pop the things and put that in place. Lock it in. Put the screw. The rock say unplug the power. It's all right, guys. Okay, it's okay. Because that's the safety pin right there. So you have to press the safety pin to activate. Okay. Yeah. We are good. Yeah. Yeah. Ideally, you're on plug, but yeah, it's all right. I'm just gonna just just make sure lock it pretty tight. Okay. Done. That's it. And it uh, comes to. So I've marked it. So that one goes to set. Go to the front of the spring. Just make sure everything's are nice and tight. Again, if you are doing daily or every other day, just make sure you loop cat it. All right.
Takes what? A couple of minutes? Not even? Okay. Just go all the way to the lock. Okay, so now comes the grinder setting. I think I'm going to set, uh, I'm just going to guess it. Because I tried number six last time. So let's go number seven. Six, yeah, let, let, let's go number six. All right, number six for espresso. All right, at this point, uh, just, I mean, I, I really like what Niche did. Okay, they give you all the carrying case there. Okay, put back in the, hold on a second here. Let's see here. So this one goes to the top. Okay. Protector. Goes on the top, like so. Just lock it in. So now you're good. You know what? Takes what minute at the most. Again, make sure I get the food grade gel. Alright guys. I think I'm gonna do quick RDT. Copy beans in. Again, there's no bellow. Okay. So I'm using the same from my niche zero. You know, plunge there. Just a couple of times. That's all. Pretty good. All right. Okay. Set to the side. Let's make some coffee, folks. Okay. I'm going to make some brew some coffee. Just gonna go from here. Okay. Comes the grind quality is looks pretty good. Let's do quick WDT. This is my homemade WDT tools. I just declump everything. Okay. I mean they're pretty fluffy anyway. All right. It's pretty fluffy there. Yeah. It's nice and easy. Take your time. All right, let's put some shot here, folks. I'm just going to sell. By the way, folks, uh, we are going to celebrate May 4th. So let's use the force temper, okay? May the 4th be with you. All right, I think you might be, I, I, my feeling is it's going to be a little fast, okay? All right, it's going to be a little fast. Looking at the grind size, maybe I, I should have done like five. Yeah, five would be a better option, but. So let's find out. I got this a new coffee mug from Aliexpress. Make sure beware of buying from Aliexpress, okay? I ordered three. I only got one. Okay, here we go. Yeah, a little bit fast, yeah. A little bit fast there. Let's go turbo, guys. Let, let's go 50 gram in 50 seconds, okay? That's 50 gram in 50. Nice turbo shot. Uh, comes to tasting note on this one, this coffee. Let's take a look at the tasting notes. It's gonna be great finished, okay? It's gonna be very acidic. It's 
gonna be should be good. Hold on, tangerine and grapefruit. Tangerine and grapefruit. A little bit fast there. All right, let's try. By the way, if you're just joining us for the first time, yeah, welcome to live streaming, folks. All right. Welcome to live streaming. Let's see, we got some a uh, couple of new people on the live chat. Okay, we got some few people on the live chat there. Let's see who is on. Okay, Azin said that's not a turbo shot. Okay, uh, turbo shot is whatever you want to be, guys. All right, there's no uh, exact recipe for turbo shot because there's a couple of different school of thought. Okay, someone say you know 15 seconds for 50 gram. Uh, someone say like you know one to three ratio, one to four ratio. For me, if if if, if a shot is fast, I call it turbo. All right. Okay. If a shot is fast, I call it turbo. So, I mean, you know what? I mean, don't I mean don't kind of like cut off in that naming. Uh, comes to you know uh, your recipes. Again, this is your coffee, guys. Okay, just you know just do whatever. All right, just do whatever you want. All right. And then because and you should have some fun with it, you know. You don't want to you know, stuck on the this naming uh, games there. The smells pretty good. All right, let's give it a try. So this is a coffee from September Coffee from Kyle. Here we go. Cheers. Man, you know what? I mean. I, I mean, I, I really like this faster shot, I have to say. Yeah, I, I really like this faster shot. Very grapefruit finished. It's great, acidic. I mean, this is really good for kind of like the large ratio, like one to three, one to four, even like one to five if you want to, all right? One to five is too much though, one to five is too much. Maybe like one to three to one to four should be really good. And uh, uh, Dogman, uh, we are talking about the naming, okay, we got the Kaya and Lens. Their name is a little, little interesting last names, all right. Let's see here. A shout out to Shannon. Shannon from Australia is down under over there. And the, uh, by the way, let me know is how many people actually ordered the duo. Yeah, let me know. I mean, this is the most uh, uh, kind of like talk about coffee grind the last couple of weeks, okay. This is the most talk about uh, grind the last couple of weeks. As you saw, comes to swapping out birds are extremely simple, okay? But in reality, you know, how many of you, you know, swap it out daily, okay? You know, I can see maybe once or twice a week, you know, maybe your family members or friend wants to filter coffee, you can swap it out, but daily basis, I don't know. So pretty much, this is a nice option to have, right? So you don't have to buy separate grinder for, yeah. I mean, I mean, this is separate grind. So you don't have to buy separate grinder for brew. You only need this for brew. Okay, so, okay. But, okay, but, if you're a coffee hobbyist, like you guys, that's why, I mean, that's why I call you guys the one percenter, okay? You guys are one percenter. I bet you you guys are not going to happy with the stock birds. All right. You guys are not happy with the stock birds. Uh, Joseph say, uh, I order two sculptor instead. Okay. You can get a two sculptor, the 70 millimeter brew and espresso for price of one. All right. So because I, uh, comes to sculptor, I heard some great things about it from Actually, I only heard from one person. Okay, Lance told me, you know, Lance told me that he really loves the brewers and and then the his uh, the espresso, the O seventy eight S. He thinks that is right, right on. Okay, part with E G one. Okay, we are talking about four thousand dollar grinder there, guys. He thinks that that's a part with. Comes to price, you know, it's not the same, but he's a pretty close to E G one. You know, you have to take, you know, obviously you have to take his word for it because I know he got one, but yeah. And so far I only play with the O64S, that's it, okay. That's the only one I play with it so far. So, you know, so far I'm pretty impressed with it, all right, for the price. Coffee is very bright. Yeah, 
it's not sour or bitter. I feel like shot is very balanced there. So again, uh, if you have a niche zero right now at home, all right. If you love, if you're a niche fanboy, okay, just like Apple fan, uh, fanboy. If you're a niche fanboy, uh, you guys are going to love the uh, duo, okay. You're gonna love the duo. And uh, if you are hardcore coffee hobbyist, or, or, I mean like hardcore, okay. You guys care about the particle size. You guys care about the. Uh, uh, the bird alignments or bird design, all that fun stuff. I mean, you won't be, you know, it's not, it may not be the grinder for you, okay? But again, but if you love the workflow of niche, niche zero, yeah. We have uh, Emmet Kumar, P64 or Duo. Uh, there's no comparison, okay? We're not, it's not the same uh, categories, okay? P64, I mean, I, I mean, if I have the money, I go to P64, okay, not the duo, all right? Uh, P100, even, obviously even better, but for the price, I think so far, P64 is it, okay? That is it right now, P64. Uh, I know a few people, I know a few people on the live chat has one uh, in the chat room, yeah. Okay. Okay, so LA Space Boy, are you using the perfect, uh, uh, I've been using uh, three different types of water. Perfect water, third wave water, and also I make my own water too. So I, I use all three. Shout out to Kyle. Kyle, your, your copy is pretty good, buddy. Okay. It's even better today. All right, I did 18 gram in. I got 54 gram out. About 15 seconds is faster shot. Okay. So that was good. All right, that was a pretty good shot. Make sure, let's see here. And then also Kyle has a, I mean, if you don't know who Kyle is, you know, Kyle is a, you know, he's a big shot YouTuber, all right? And I, I, I need to make a correction because the last time I told, told you guys, Kyle's brand new to copy roasting, but he's not. He told me he's been doing it for like eight years. He's a seasoned professional coffee roaster so yeah because the roasting is hard all right I mean I, I mean that's why I was pretty surprised how good this coffee was someone just started the coffee roasting but yeah but I, obviously yeah, his coffee is I can tell okay because I've been roasting for guess what I've been roasting for about four years now going on four years all right I've been roasting for four years my coffee has not even come close to this one Okay, let's put it that way. Yeah, I mean, I ended up using my coffee to season my birds, okay? So yeah, it's not easy. Uh, I'm using the M2 Sniper, but yeah. But again, uh, the comes to roasting, you, that's another hobby, all right? It's another hobby. But if you want to be make money out of it, that's totally on another level, all right? You need to have that consistency. I mean, just like making coffee. I mean, we make coffee every single day, guys. All right. Some days you're going to get a great shot. Some days you're going to get a bad shot. Like this shot. All right. You know, too fast, but you know what? Works. Okay. Very forgiving. Okay. They're forgiving there. Let's see here. We have uh, Nick mentioned about the uh, dual boiler. You can get a pretty cheap eBay right now for straight from, you know what? Whatever reason. Dual boiler is really inexpensive in Australia, okay? And the uh, US is about like, 1500 bucks, 1600 dollars, but yeah, in Australia, they're very inexpensive. Okay, very inexpensive there, but. Um, dual boiler is an amazing coffee machine, all right? I mean, that is a, for the money, that is fantastic, but, okay, I have to say, I mean, if you are looking at, you know, Hold your kitchen, I mean, you're like an entire kitchen coffee bar. I don't know, I mean, is that the machine for you guys? You know, Kai has to pick up his kids. All right, buddy. Thank you for joining, bud. Anyway, so let's go back to uh, LA Space Boy Ask, not sure. Uh, I'm in Tucson, Arizona here. Okay. Uh, have you tried the uh, 
catchy coffee beans? Hey, you know, there is a thousands and thousands of coffee roasters out there, guys. Coffee beans. Is, that's why you need to go out there and try as much as you can. Okay? I think uh, Dogman22 try. Dogman, how many coffee did you try last year? He, he told me like a couple hundred different coffee roasters last year. So, yeah. So, again, uh, find your coffee you like. All right? Coffee, the... Uh, it's about five o'clock. I mean, uh, yeah. Let's see here. Let's see here. We got the. By the way, if you're, again, if you're just joining us, make sure to join the live chat. Okay, join the live chat. We are chit chatting right now. Yeah, uh, Dogman did 220 different coffee last year. That is a lot. Okay, that's a lot of money too. All right. And uh, Dogman really likes the high-end coffee as well. LA Space Boy used to live in Tucson. Rancho Cucamonga, California. All right. Nick said, Dura Boiler, seven, yep, seven years old. Getting strong, good. All right, let's see what else here. What else we got going on here? Again, if you're first time, first timer, yeah, welcome to live streaming, guys. Okay, so this is what we do on a daily basis. Uh, in the first segment, we just, you know, we're trying to learn something, okay? Like today, I show you guys how to swap up the birds. Nothing to it, not that special. The second part of live streaming, we just hang out, all right? It was just chit chatting, that's it. Again, there's no whole lot of exciting news when it comes to the coffee industry. I feel like everybody put everything out before the, uh, uh, the coffee expo, what, past weekend? Not last weekend, but weekend before that. So everybody introduced a lot of new products. And now, it's kind of like, not a whole lot going on here. Not a whole lot going on. Okay. Let's see here. Hold on a second. Nick mentioned about, yeah, what would you get for your mom? Any, I mean, if you are getting for your parents, even your family members, if you don't know, if you are not a coffee hobbyist, eh, just get a like Brista Express. They might pushing it. Okay. Okay, Brabble Brista Express or Pro, that'd be a good machine. And that's a good machine to learn. All right. But I mean, do not, yeah, do not. JD say, I, uh, I get my wife a correct. Come on, you can do better than that, buddy. Okay. JD, you can do better than correct. All right, because the Pro or Bravo Express Espresso Pro, they're just enough complicated to make great coffee, okay? If you are using the pressurized basket, it's not too bad. I mean, anybody can do it. Okay, Avenger 34, would you review the timer coffee grinder? When, uh, I reviewed the 64S, okay? Uh, if it's, if, because I heard that 78 is a lot better than 64S, you know, 64, so I, I imagine, okay, 78 should be really good. All right. Okay, so Dogman say my, uh, his mom has a three group Bosco. Hey, by the way, uh, check out, uh, you know, I wonder I can show you guys. I wonder I can show you guys. All right. This guy. Uh, Dogman22 mentioned to me the other day, okay. If you go to Instagram, all right, if you go to Instagram right now, you know, I'll show you. Guy named by The Coffee Alter. It's only about 110 people follow this channel. Only 110, that's it, small channel. But this person have, hold on, maybe I can put it up here, better photos of this. You won't believe what this uh, this guy has. All right, here we go. Here we go. Let's uh, let's take a look. He has the Capitec Max sitting right there. So he's uh, he has uh, this what called uh, let's uh, it's called Slim Jim. Hold on a second. That's the hey dog man. Uh, what what's the name of that coffee machine again? 
Uh, Dogman knows what that is. Uh, so this is a, a hold on a second here. That's custom build. Hold on. Slim Jim. Let's see who makes this machine. This is such an amazing machine. Yeah, I'm gonna get that for you. All right. That's custom build. And then the other hand, scroll down. He has the Titus to match with, okay? The Titus grinder. Look at that. They got the two chambers. Look at that beauty. All right. This is a home setup. Okay, this is a home setup. And they look like he has the Hero, Chiara. Eh, I don't know about that one. That was pretty cool way back when, but now the Hero, Chiara, Hero, is, you know, that, that's all right. Okay, it's not the, it, it, yeah, hold on a second here. Uh, Keys Vendor West. Keys Vendor West. Wesson. Slim Jim. Yeah. Again, that is a, that is a, a good setup. It's way over, okay, this is way overkill. But I mean, that's kind of like, you know, showing off. That's it. That's showing off to his friends and family. Hey, but I mean, again, this is the kind of like the top of, first of all, you don't need a two group pad either at home, all right? It's nice to have it, but yeah, you don't need a two group pad. One group's just fine, but yeah. But again, if you have one, you know, if you have the money to burn, go ahead. Wait, never mind. That's only one group here, guys. I think it's, yeah, that's two group. Never mind. It is two group. Yeah. I mean, who needs a two group head at home? But if you're having a party at your house, yeah. Uh, Dogman says showing up with 100 followers. Hey, 100 followers is a lot, okay? All right. 100 followers is quite a bit. Anyway, I mean, that's kind of like, so that's kind of like someone's dream setup, right? I mean, that's, the fact is how many people love, and you know, how many people even knows about Titus, okay? People ask, what is Titus? They have no idea that uh, they make coffee grinder, even calf attack, okay? Everybody knows like, you know, niche, all right? Eureka or about, yeah. But again, those high-end grinders, I mean that, okay, so there's a high-end. That is more like the hyper grinder, okay? That is a kind of like hyper grinder range. Just like hyper sports car, that it is a hyper grinder, okay? Some, some of us are like end-game end -game grinder. So here's end-game grinder here for most people. That is a titan grinder, and, and after that, there is hyper, okay? Uh, let's see here. Keys, Titus, but you know what, Nick, you need a nice conical as well, okay? You, you need to get, you need a match, all right? Okay, uh, uh, MGS say the use of Keys Bender or West for 10 grand for use. I think those machines set you back about 20, 25 grand, easy, okay? All right, and the, those grind, uh, Titus grinder, you are looking at 15 grand, 16 grand. MC5 sets back about 5,000. So everything said and done, you are looking at what? 50 grand? Yeah. JD say, is Capitec MC5 commercial? No, uh, Capitec MC5 is not a commercial grinder, okay? Uh, I mean, that's like home use, uh, single dose, that's it, okay? I mean, none of them is commercial use, it's all home, all right? I mean, with especially Titus, uh, that's hyper alignment as well, okay? The Avengers say 500K, go uh, you know what, I mean, I mean, if it's someone talking about like, you know, $500,000 coffee grinder or a million dollars, I mean, those grinders either used by like, who used that? Uh, Cometeer. Okay, Cometeer used that, you know, very expensive grinder. But, I mean, for the most people, yeah. Uh, MGSA, when you're getting uh, your pay with your YouTube product? Yeah, I wish. I wish. It'd be nice. 
Okay, someday, guys. Someday. I'm not even come close to it, all right? I'm not even come close to it. So, I mean, let's see here. All right, I think we are good for this evening. It's about 5.17 right now. We've been talking for half an hour. Again, if you are joining us for the first time, yeah, welcome to live streaming, okay? This is the place to hang out, talk coffee, and we just BS for a while, all right? We just BS for a little bit. Hopefully, we're going to waste our time here together. Uh, okay, I'm getting the Titus Roller Mill. Titus Roller Mill is uh, something new uh, coming from Titus, okay? Yeah, I mean, that one is uh, pretty insane, okay? Yeah, yep. That's, yeah, James Hopman, uh, I think he went to the uh, Comma Tier factory that talked about this grinder. It's about 500K. Just the numbers, guys. Just the numbers. All right? Just the numbers. I, I guarantee you, okay? I bet you your coffee at home right now is a better tasting than Comma Tier, okay? All right? So, I mean, it's not, yeah. Because comes the coffee, because they have to use that coffee grinder to get the consistent coffee grind size. Because you cannot have one coffee, the, one of those commentary pot. One coffee is amazing, next coffee is okay, you cannot do that. So you need that uniform. So that's why you got to spend, you know, insane amount of money to get consistency. Okay, JD say, who and why hardly anybody reviewing Mocha Master KM5? You know what? Because it's not that interesting. That's why. Okay. Because it's not that interesting. Because people want to see the latest and greatest things. So, uh, Dogman say, uh, Hoon, please uh, blind taste the niche filter burr against any of your $100 hand grinder. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Uh, JD say, uh, it's only about a month. JD, hold on a second. Okay, let's take a look. All right. Let's do Mocha Master KM5. I'm going to pull it up right now. Yeah. KM5 Burr Grinder from Mocha Master. Here we go. Okay, let me show you guys, okay, guy? JD, I'm going to tell you why people are not buying this. You know, not talking about it. By the way, if you go to Seattle Coffee Gear, you're going to get a 10% off here. Hold on. So this is a Mocha Master. Coffee grinder, okay. They got a hopper there. Uh, there's no dosen cup. So that's more like batch brew, okay. That's like batch brew coffee grinder. All right. That, uh, that's why, okay. They got, uh, you can change your grind size right on the top. And let's take a look at the specs right now. Well, that's 50 millimeter flat burr, okay? So they are what, cost you 500, uh, 340 for 50 millimeter flat. I mean, if you go to even uh, niche, uh, hold on. Uh, if you try, hold on a second here. I, I lost all your comments. Okay, here we go. Uh, I mean, if you go with it, even Ella Oat, if you spend uh, 350 bucks, you can get a Candela Brew Specialty 64 millimeter brew birds. Okay, so again, if you are using uh, kind of like batch brew, and this makes more sense for like Mocha Master, the KM5. I mean, most people watching uh, coffee videos or YouTube's mainly. Uh, I mean, you guys are more interesting like single dose, okay, and large bird size. So again. It's nothing wrong with it, all right? It's nothing wrong with the KM5. Maybe that's the reason why you don't see a whole lot of reviews, okay? Because most people drink a filter, single dose filter or espresso. So that's the, uh, that's the reason. All right, so let's see here. GP6 uh, versus the Brewers for niche duo. Yeah, I, mean, I, I need to grab somebody, okay? I think I'm gonna ask Dip or even Nick, okay? Not you, Nick. The other Nick in Tucson. All right. I'm going to have him come in and do some blind taste. Can you imagine? Okay. Can you imagine people pick out 
GP6 over Duo. Yeah. Joseph Asko, what about the new Turin hang grinder? Sitting right over there, I gotta season it first. Okay. All right, I gotta season it first. Uh, it's okay, all right? Beer quality, I know some people love it, but I've been spoiled with, you know, easy press grinders and timer grinders. I mean, is, what you pay for what you get comes to hand grinder. But if anything like above like $100 and up, they're all good, okay? There's no bad hand grinders above 100 bucks, right? Okay, uh, let's see here. We have an MR mask, Chemex versus a V60. I never used a Chemex before. Chemex is good for like, if you're making like three or four cups. Yeah. Okay, Dogman say he, he got money on hand grinder over Mazar filter birds. Okay. All right. Okay. That's good. All right, guys. It's about f almost 5.30 here in Tucson. Uh, thank you for joining us this evening. And uh, we're going to be back tomorrow. Okay, back tomorrow. Uh, we're going we're gonna to figure out something. Okay, we're going to figure out something to talk about. All right, guys. See you next time.